today, right? So tonight we are here at Pungo and today I'm here with Delvin right here. So we'll be fishing overnight at Waterfront 2 again. And recently the nip tide has been bringing a lot of uh, sotong catch report. Tonight we'll be scooping for sotong and we'll be using them for bait. So as you guys can see, we are carrying a lot of shit tonight. All right, we have reached the spot and we'll start preparing soon. But we bought some uh, starter pack meal <laughs> because uh, Del right here will be cooking dinner for us later. So we'll see you guys in a bit. So I'll be teaching you guys how to light up your pond tank. So there are a few things to take note. First of all, the gauge right here. At least you need to pump at least uh, maybe 60 times to reach uh, number one. PS right there, or PA. And can you guys see that spirit cup? So basically we need to uh, fill it with the spirit water before we light it up. So I'll be filling it up now. So basically, uh, the spirit is actually just met methanol. So on the side over here, there's actually one hole for you to uh, put the methanol. Be lighting it up now. So actually there's a gauge right here for you to rotate clockwise. So as you guys can see the methanol is now slowly burning. Then you can start rotating it clockwise. So yep, we managed to light our pond thing. And before you actually put it in the water, you just pump it a bit more. So we have a special bait right here guys. It's a live crab. Is it dead? Oh yeah, it's still alive guys. So we have our bone rod here and our new ATC Virtus reel, size 3K. And let's hope to catch some grouper tonight. <laughs> As you guys can see, this crab is freaking fresh. So we just managed to scoop it using our freaking long scoop right here. And so far the sotong have, haven't been coming to our pond tank. And Del will be using his uh, prawns later on, on his uh, rod right there. So. We'll see you guys in a bit. If you catch any sotong, we'll update you guys. Tight lines. Alright guys, we just caught one skate right here. And an eggy. Woo! One good size squid. Uh -huh. And uh, that was eggy right here. We saw this guy actually chase uh, one bait fish and we just tried eggy. And we caught one good size squid. Very yes, nice. Palm size. Woo! At least we got bait already, boys. <laughs> so we just uh, changed to fresh bait. Beautiful sotong right here. As you guys can see, still changing color. And <laughs> that right there, <laughs> the insect has the insect oh. ink <laughs> all over <laughs> his hands.
putting oil. Alright guys, looks like we caught a fish. Another snapper, guys. It was a good fight on this uh, new reel of us. Good size snapper. Very beautiful fish right here. As you guys can see, good size. On our fresh sotong again. So our new setup right here just caught one good size uh, snapper and the rest of our rods are actually still waiting and Del actually went to meet one of his uh, colleague and I struggled actually tying my GoPro on the railing and our supper for the night is ready which is curry right here looking good guys so far it has been a great night here at waterfront 2 Pongo and sotong wise we haven't really caught a lot so we have been using uh, the only sotong that we caught earlier which is a good 7 inch size sotong and we have been cutting it into small pieces we don't need to actually use a very big bait here to catch this kind of fish which is like the snapper sweet lips or even stingray so we are just hoping to get a few more bites as we reach the midnight so stay tuned guys, tight lines. So we just put one marine catfish right here. So most likely we're gonna throw it back. Catch and release guys. Alright guys, so we just Finally. scoop <laughs> Finally scoop our only sotong of the night. Second sotong. Yeah, second sotong. The first one is actually on eggy. And this one is uh, uh, on a scoop. So Dell actually spotted it. And yeah, got one good size for bait. Woo! Current update Dell is currently using his uh, second last uh, prawn of the night. And I'm almost one quarter away from finishing my last uh, squid. And for sotong wise, uh, for the whole night, we only managed to catch two sotong which are like uh, seven, 7 inches in length and most likely we'll start keeping our pond tank because there are totally zero sotong that are passing by at our location and we will start keeping all our gears as you guys can see the whole, the whole place has been littering with our fishing equipment. So now bleeding the fish. A lot of blood man. Yeah. Alright, so we have come to the end of our fishing session here at Pungo Water Front 2 again. And for the whole night we only catch two sotong and one good sized finger mark snapper. 
and there were a few bites but uh, yeah we only caught one fish so we'll see you guys next time and tight lines